Hey everyone, I have, I need to turn down this music. <laughs> Welcome to Coffee with Colleen. Yay, Coffee with Colleen is started right now. I, hey Mindy, yay, here we go. So first off, I wanna say thanks for joining. Um, whenever you do, I know some people will watch this later. I'll first share uh, a mini, first off, I want to let everyone know that Mindy Kissel, my sister, is going to join in just a couple minutes, but first I'll share my cup. So I chose, don't, don't be ashamed, I'm drinking tea, but whatever. I chose this mug because I like the quote on it, and it's a big mug, so you can put a lot of coffee in there or whatever you, tea, and it says, it's not the journey, it's who you're traveling with. And I just feel like that's a theme right now. Obviously, a lot of us can't travel because of what's happening. But um, but I feel like right now I've learned and talked about a lot the importance of who you have in your life. And um, that's more important than you getting stuff done or, you know. And I'm one to say that. Like, I love pursuing dreams and I love career stuff. And, I mean, I've chosen to live in a different state um, far away from my family to pursue the career with the hopes that um, eventually my husband and I will be able to travel even more together and and travel even more together and be able to see our family. But I picked Corey to spend this journey with, so I like spending time with him. And yeah, and so... Um, yeah, so I wanted to share that, and um, I'm really excited today. I'm going to talk a little bit more um, because my sister is going to join us. She has been uh, a wonderful sister. I can just remember when I was a little girl, and I would look up to her. Even though I was pretty girly girly, and I pretty much was really into like cheerleading and pop girl music, and I just love girly things, but since my sister, hey Jovi, since my sister um, was such a tomboy, I, I, um, since she was such a tomboy, I actually ended up switching out my cheerleading, like, pacer cheerleading outfit to, like, a jersey, so I'm really excited to have her on and just have her share a bit about herself and, um, let's see if she's, how she's doing. So yeah, so it's really fun to have her on, and I'll do a little introduction for Mindy. She says she's having a little bit of an internet problem, so if she doesn't pop on right away, I'll just keep chatting it up. So, but Mindy is um, my older sister. Uh, she is a wifey. She is um, she's an entrepreneur. She studied business in college, and she worked really hard before she had her first kid. And she works hard now, like, being a stay-at-home mom, which is a lot of work. And she um, just helps out the house. But she's got some cool things that are going to happen soon. Um, and so with her career choices, but also just, like, life in general, she's had a lot of, like, changes happening. And um, she's just a really strong person. And she's super creative in her own way. And just when I say that, like, for me, like, you know, not necessarily like arts and painting, but she can do crafts. She's like creative with her kids. She's creative in her cooking. She's creative in her business style. So she's just very like, she can, she's a very hard worker and she gets things done and she learns a lot and loves learning. So, um, yeah, I just want to say, Mindy, if you are on, go ahead and join. If not, I'll, hey Kelly. Oh my gosh. Hey Isa. Oi to the boom. <laughs> Um, I'm texting her. <laughs> um, cool. And so, yeah, so it's a little about Mindy. Um, let's see, today I'll share, today I had a very good day so far, in case you wanted to know. <laughs> but I also, hey <laughs> Kelly, I, um, I don't know about you guys, but man, my sleeping patterns are just like 
a little bit off. I've been going to bed a lot sooner than, uh, than the past few weeks, let's just say. But <laughs> when I used to, when I was working, I'd wake up at 5 a.m. So my, my bedtime was like 8 p.m. And now it's like whenever I want. And then I just can't fall asleep because I'm excited about things. Or, you know, obviously the opposite not so excited about things. I'm having to like chill myself out a bit, but, um, but I finally fell asleep, which was amazing. And today has been good. I've just been preparing for you guys to hang out. I'm so glad that you guys are on here with me. So since we're waiting for Mindy to situate her internet, um, do any of you like Isa, Kelly, Joe, want to like share anything encouraging? You can either hop on or you can just type something up. Yeah, totally Kelly. Yeah, just, um, yeah, it's been, it's been a good day though, which is nice. So I love doing this. I love seeing you guys pop on. It just makes me so happy. Something to look forward to. So, um, ah, yay. Here comes my sister. Here she comes, Mindy Kissel, here she comes. Hi! <laughs> Yay! Hang on, let me find good lighting. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> Sorry. No, you're fine. I've just been rambling about my late nights and hard to wake up, and it's been good. I yeah. have a few people on here, which is really fun. Kelly's on here. I think Isa. Hi, Kelly. Yeah, Hi, Kelly. Isa. And your hubs is on, Joe. So, Corey's yelling in the background, enjoying himself. <laughs> so, yay! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> It's crazy that your internet, we just say yes to your internet working. We say yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, LA. I'm trying to find good lighting. You ever, you have, did you ever meet each other? I don't think you met my sister Kelly, have you? I don't, do you remember me and Kelly maybe? No. Kelly Eastern? No. He's a really cool guy. We, um, we know each other from Reading and he lives in Los Angeles now too. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. So. Yay, you look good. It looks Thanks. good, Minnie. You look so pretty. Thank you, you too. Thanks. Yay. Okay. He's saying, I don't think so to knowing you, not to your looks. <laughs> That's, that was like perfect timing. <laughs> so funny. Yeah, I don't think you guys know each other. <laughs> That's hilarious. No. Um, cool. So, so, Mindy, okay. I want you to go ahead and share your mug. Okay. I have, I have three mugs. Okay, perfect. <laughs> I, I have. I just got this uh, from Christmas. Hot Mess Express. Oh my gosh, I love that. Thanks, yeah. Kelly. <laughs> yes. Um, my ne uh, my nephew gave it to me for Christmas, and I'm pretty sure that's how the family finds me. A hot mess. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> and then this is uh, my Mickey mug, which I found in the basement. But I love this. I have a Mickey and a Minnie mug, and I got it from um, uh, Florida when I was down a few years ago um, in Disney. So, which, you know, we were supposed to go to Disney, but the quarantine has expired us from that. So, but yes. yeah, the Mickey mug. Aww. And then this is my, my ultimate mug. Yeah, you've had that for a long time. <laughs> um, it just fits perfect. That's awesome. So, okay, I'm wondering why you did that. That's so cool. That's my that's favorite one. one. You've had that since you like been moved married. Into your first, yeah, been married. Yeah. Okay. I was gonna say I recognize that one. Yeah. I don't think I've seen the other two yet. So, did you see the mug? You were probably busy, but this is the one that I yeah. To see. I saw that, and then I realized as the internet was lagging that it wasn't gonna work for me. So, because oh. <laughs> I was watching you, but okay. Well, it looks like it's doing really well now, which is good. So, so how's your day been? Tell me about your day. Uh, great. Uh, finally, um, here in Indiana, it's been crazy. Uh, the weather was uh, 60 this morning, 50, and then now it's 80. So, 
Um, it got really hot during the day and we decided to pull out a water slip and slide uh, inflatable thing and the girls played on that today. That's so cool. Yep. Yay. And you had an almost like boopy, boopy, like scarlet. She had a little scare of scarlet. What, what happened? Did she just bump around and on the little slide thing? She tried, she tried to get out and I guess it's kind of high off the ground. She twisted her ankle. Oh, yeah. unless she's okay. Yeah. I told Corey that today and he's like, man, kids find anything just to get her. And I was like, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Yeah, it is. It's like you could give them a soft teddy bear and they would find some way to like poke their eyes. <laughs> yes, they would. And Kelly, this is not a safety pin. It totally looks like a giant safety pin. <laughs> it's actually a T, whatever is this thing. And what are these called? I don't know. Filter? T filter? No. Yeah, T filter. It totally looks like a safety pin right now, though. It's so cool. Okay, well, cool. Well, we have, I have a question. I have to remember what the question was. Ah, first I wanted to share. So I can, I gave an introduction for you, Mindy, but you weren't on. I just kind of shared a little bit about um, you and how, like, growing up, I was telling them, like, I was super girly when I was younger and I turned in kind of tomboy because you loved basketball. And I was like, I want a jersey too. I don't know if I ever told you that, but I totally. Like yes, the Reggie Miller jersey. Yeah, I remember yeah. that. Yeah, even you got a like, Rick Smith's one. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Even though then you wanted to be like, like me. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I want the cheerleading outfit, and then you were like, I'm gonna get this jersey. I was like, mm, I don't want to be not cool, <laughs> so I got a, I got a jersey too. It's funny, but also like something about Mindy I want to share is when I first moved to Redding, California, um, I went and I started to get into filmmaking. And this was like a new thing for me because in my mind, I'm like, I don't want to be a bad Christian. I don't know why I had that mindset. I was just like, I want to be, I don't know. I don't know if it was selfish to enjoy what I was doing, I think is what it was. <laughs> and so um, when I remember when I was visiting you, I think over the summer, and I was just like freaking out. About, oh, maybe it was Christmas time. I was like freaking out. I'm like writing this film, like, but I want it to be like creative and funny. And I just want to do acting. Like, is that Okay do you think, or do you think it's selfish? And you're like, who cares what other people think? Just do what you want to do, Colleen. And like, from that point on, I literally, like that theology, I was like, you're right. And then it turned into like, well, why would I want to do something? Why would God give me the desire to do something? And then like, tease me with him, like, sorry, you can't do it. You know, I know there's like the whole flesh thing, but I mean, that's not hurting anyone. So it's interesting how we think, you know? So, but, so Mindy has been like a super like influence on me going into filmmaking and creativity and that aspect and like letting myself feel like, who cares what people think? Like, you know, people yeah. pleasing is something I've had to deal with for a long time. So yeah. I remember that it was actually during the summer. Yeah, it was during summer. Yeah. yeah. We were going to the Castleton Square Mall on 86th okay. yeah. Street. Yeah. 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 That was crazy. That was, I loved summers with you. It was so fun, like hanging out with the girls. So good. Yes. So sad that changes. Life changes. So it does. I know. So jumping into that, um, I wanted to ask you if there is anything that you remember that I've on you, that I've maybe influenced you on, or whatever. Anything you want to share? <laughs> um. I had, yes. Um. Uh, sometimes you know it's it's hard um to be a mom and and I always appreciate it when you always tell me I'm such a great mom and mm -hmm. it means the world to me and and it, every mom out there needs to hear that you know they're doing a great job they're doing just an amazing job because that's what we need to hear to help us through the day sometimes mm -hmm. so. yeah hey mom Must hey mom and Jake, hey Jake. Um, yeah, that's so cool. And I, I loved our last, those of you who didn't get to see the last Coffee with Colleen, I was interviewing Corey. I'll have it on YouTube. I figured out a way to get on you. So we'll have all these on YouTube. Um, but I just love like, even hey Lloyd, even like um, Corey just talking about so much value and respect. Yet. Oh my gosh, it was nice. <laughs> <laughs> I told her 10 a.m. to come on because she's in Australia. She Dad says, no, it's 9. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. 
That's crazy. I'm glad you jumped on before it like was too late. <laughs> um, so, but yeah, just hi Lloyd. Hey Lloyd. Actually, I feel like, did you meet Lloyd? No, I'm thinking of Joanna and that Lloyd anyways. <laughs> hey Lloyd. <laughs> um, so, um, but yeah, like you are, you have like a big, that's awesome. You have like a huge job. I love what Corey said. Like you are raising the next generation. And if you chose not to be a mom, there wouldn't be a next generation at all. You know, it's like it's a big deal. That right. Goes to be a mom. And I know that's something that you always wanted, you know, and I want to be a mom too, but I, you know, definitely like put the career first at first, you know, and learning like, no, if I always like for, I, we haven't talked about this, but we've kind of got to a point where we're like, you know, if we always decide we choose our career first and we wait for that to come, like we might not ever come to way, the way we think like a career will come. And so we're like, yeah, you know, buck down and be like, when is, when do we actually want to have a kid? So we've kind of decided when we'll start trying, which I'm not going to tell anyone on public, but, <laughs> but, um, not, this, so. <laughs> but it's important and it's a dream and, yeah, you just it's important. It is. It is important. It's, it's hard. It's hard mm -hmm. to be a mom, and I, I don't, I don't know how, I don't know how uh, the working moms do it. That's got to be more stressful. I know they say, "Oh, I can't be a stay-at-home mom," but I don't know how they work, come home, do the kids, do the, do food, do cleaning. I don't, I don't know how they do it because it's, yeah. it's, it's mind-boggling to me. It's a full-time job what you're doing. Plus. Well, full time job, but then plus they have that, so I don't, I don't know. Yeah, mentally I struggle because it's it's your home with the kids, but um, yeah, it, it's 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 a life altering change when you have kids. Yeah, yeah, because you you're hanging out with kids that are, you probably have like adult withdrawals sometimes. Play. I do have adult kind of, withdrawals. Yeah, 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 yeah. So. I, rem I think I've heard. And I live that. in a remote area, so I don't live close to a town where I can go and see others very often. I have to pack everything up and then leave. So, yeah. 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 It's crazy. So, I um, want to ask how has it been for you during this quarantine time? Was everything? Um, uh, it's it's um, it was super difficult in the beginning, actually. I had I had some pretty high anxiety. Um, worrying about is uh, my mother-in-law going to get sick she's old she has COPD and she has heart disease and is she going to get sick or are my kids going to get sick what if I get sick you know am I going to have to be quarantined and I'm the one that takes care of them and how is that going to all play out so I had a lot of anxiety through the very beginning um of that uh and then uh, as the weeks went on, um, Job and I prayed constantly. He knew I was pretty freaked out. Um, we prayed about it and, uh, each day got easier. Each morning I woke up and I, I had less anxiety over this whole coronavirus. Um, and to this day, I'm, I'm much better now. So <laughs> it was, awesome. yeah, I was, it was stressful at first, but it put a lot of fear in everyone. Yeah, you're fighting against not only your own like anxieties, but I feel like the community community as a whole. Um, you're frozen. Hopefully, it'll just reboot itself in a second here. But yeah, like um, that's something that I notice in Los Angeles is like there's a lot of people in fear and panic, and so something that I've had to pay attention to. Girls so far both have had birthdays. One was right in the beginning of the lockdown, and then the Miley just had one recently. Um, mm -hmm. And I let her go to Walmart, put a mask on her, <laughs> and we went to Walmart and said, "Don't touch anything." So that was her birthday gift. Oh, <laughs> was to go to Walmart. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's so. so cool. Yeah. Have you guys um, have you discovered new creative things with the girls during this time? Because you've had even more time with them and you've had to like probably you know you can't be like oh let's go to your friend's house you know right yeah yeah we've done uh yeah 
yeah, we don't really, I mean, like we, we were really busy. We were doing cheer almost four days a week. Um, so we were rarely home. Yeah, Job was working. He was really busy. Um, so then all of a sudden spring break hit and uh, no school. We did not go back to school. And then um, um, no cheer. Like all of a sudden there was no cheer. And, 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 um, hi, Nicole. And yeah, so that was hard, um, uh, because of that. And so, yeah, we've had to get creative. Um, we, uh, we do a lot of things. Um, we do a lot of slime. Um, Miley makes slime almost every day. (laughs) I believe that. Uh, any and every kind of slime you can imagine, glitter, beads, everything, um, uh, I also, they do a lot of food coloring or a lot of coloring, a lot of, um, drawing. We use chalk. Um, we play games. That's cool. Um, and then they play really well with themselves too. So it works out. That's cool. And do you have some of the slime? We talked about you sharing some of it. Oh, yes, oh. I did. Um, Just give me one second here and let me get some slime for you. Yeah, go grab it. So the girls, I don't know if you have any, anyone has any children or nieces or probably even nephews, but man, these kids these days, they love to make slime like on, they have YouTube kids and like my nieces constantly watch the YouTube slime videos of kid like girls their age or older, like preteen or teenagers, like let's make some slime in like super energetic, like let's put some glitter in the slime and just they'll watch that for hours. It just like, it's amazing. So every time I ask, like I asked Miley what she wanted. I have to like, show you this. Slime. Yeah. To this, show this, this right here is why we have problems with slime in the house. Just, just oh wait. God. I'm entering Miley's room. Oh my gosh. <gasps> yep. <laughs> this is why I hate slime. Oh yeah. my goodness. That's like frozen in drip mode. Yeah. Um wow. Did you Job, just if you're watching, that? please come upstairs. Tell Miley get her booms right up here to get this all to the carpet. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> oh my goodness, that's crazy. Yeah. Kid life. <laughs> Good life. That was just one of the slimes. Um, Why do you think they love slime so much, like kids? What do you think it it's is? It's calming, I think. Uh, they say that. Uh, not quite sure. I've actually... She's addicted was, to it. Yeah, when I was searching slime for her for her birthday, Sometimes instead of popping up slime, it would pop up stress relief, releaser or whatever, relie- reliever. And yep. they would have kids like push, you know, doing that like a putty ball or whatever. Yeah. I was like, huh, never thought of. I mean, that makes complete sense. So, yeah. I know yeah. they like to like make bubbles with it too. Like, whoop, oh, yeah. Like that. It's so funny. Oh, my gosh. So did you I- discover any? Or do you have any slime with you? I mean, I do. I'm trying to set the phone back up. Um, do that because it's plugged in. Mhm. That's so crazy. So those of you who have not discovered slime and have children, I'm sure you have. Slime, but it's not you discovered. But I don't know if any. No, Ma has. But I think too young right now. So here's some. Some purple slime. Okay. Can you hear Corey in the background? <laughs> oh my goodness. Here's some more purple slime. Oh, this has glitter in it. Of course, that's Miley's, right? Yeah, all all of it's Miley's pretty much. Okay, I was gonna say she that's her favorite color is purple. Yeah, I bet he will love it. <laughs> and then here's some more. Ooh. Wait. Yeah, that's good. Did you get the slime in the mail for me? Oh, yes. Okay, that's good. somewhere. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I don't even remember what. I think it was purple. I don't remember. Uh, yeah, yeah. And then here's some pink slime. This one's been in there for a while because it's kind of rubbery. Oh, my gosh. oh, that's great. That's and then you saw the slime that's uh, falling on my carpet. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. yeah. That's gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> That's Lots of fun, fun stuff going on. <laughs> That's so no, cool. but we say we paint and all that stuff. So, <laughs> Joe. yes. Did you see the slime, Job? If you saw the slime, tell Miley to go clean it up. <laughs> it's pretty bad. That's okay. Fun. Yeah. So fun. Um, that's cool. Well, you do slime. So that's so cool. Well, I guess I'll just segue into my next like topic with you. Unless I've missed something that we talked about. I don't remember. But, um, but I want to talk about you and... It, um, how you went to school for business and oh, yes. that was however many years ago, you know, and 10, oh, 10 years ago. Crazy. Is it been 10? Yeah. I graduated in 08. Yeah. Or 09. Wait. Or something. So 09. it's been 11, 11, 12 years. Oh, 11. 11 years. 11 so, years. but now you, you discovered, you know, something that you want to do even more and you've kind of waited for the girls to grow up a little bit. Right. Yeah, um, yeah. Just yeah. I, I just got a general business degree when I um, when I graduated um, with uh, in '09. Um, but Job, um, yeah, he proposed to me as I was a junior in college, and then you know we wanted to get married. So I had switched my major a couple times. Not sure what I wanted. Then I just went to a general degree, business degree, mm-hmm. and then um, yeah. So the past few years, I've I've thought about what I want to do. Um, and it's more than my degree now. And so, um, I am returning to college in the fall. I'm pretty excited. I could probably do, I could probably do school my whole life because I like school. Um, so I am getting a management information systems degree at ISU this fall. So, so what kind of jobs are you hoping to get through that? I can get um, a wide range, like a business um, analyst, um, a web developer, IT management, um, all kinds of uh, different. It's a range of different jobs that I could have. <laughs> get master class. Yeah, master class. You can learn all types of skills. Really, I I've never heard of master class. Bye, Joanna. Bye, Joe. Love you. But yeah, I'll have to show you Masterclass. I'll send you what it is. Have you heard of it? Mm-mm. So I, they have all sorts of like, I do like their acting and writing classes and I've done directing. They have a singing one, but then they have like literally everything now, like cooking. I can't remember. Uh, gymnastics is on there. Um, basketball, soccer, blah, like sports and recreational things all in you can pay like a one year um I think it's two hundred dollars and you have this whole like range of classes you can take constantly and they're their videos they give you like workshop work uh sheets and things like that if you want to do them but I usually just watch the videos so but I've never heard of it but they're celebrity so like I learned acting from Samuel L. Jackson and um I learned acting from oh my goodness what is her name (laughs) Brown here and Natalie Portman. And so, hi. And so there's, um, hi, Ranger Red. I love your name. Um, so there's, there are a lot of classes on there that you can learn. Huh, never heard of it. Oh, pretty cool. So I'll have to, I'll send it to you so you can look at it. But um, that's cool. So, so what made you choose this new, you know, career change? Other than just, yeah, what? Tr- I was bumping, you? well, so I was bumping around between accounting and management information systems. Um, I, with my general degree, I have the that in operation management analysis. And I was looking for something that I can do online and accounting and management, I'm just going to call it MIS, it basically was offered. And um, I prayed about it and thought about it. And um, I came to the the conclusion. I decided that I was going to go with MIS. So that's awesome. I'm pretty that's excited. Good. That's cool. So just kind of, you know, looking at your options and praying, and you felt like God was confirming with you. Mm-hmm. I felt awesome. completely, yeah. 
do you feel like how was the confirmation how did you get your confirmation from god was it through like different things people were saying or tell me about it's so, usually a, it's a feeling i don't i i mean it's not like a direct answer this is what you need to do mm-hmm. it was a feeling it was um it was the calmness um the anxiety washed away of which one I wanted to do um, mm-hmm. when I chose, when I finally was like, oh, this is, this is it. This is what I'm supposed to do. I read into it and I just felt more at ease at it. And that's, and I okay. still feel, and I, I, I decided this back in December and I was going to start school in January. And I said, no, I'm not going to do it that fast. I'm going to give myself six months time to make sure that this is what I really want to do. And I did that. And, um, I'm glad I did because I still feel the same way. That's awesome. Yeah. It'll take me about three years. I only have six classes to take, um, because I'm, I minored in it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So yeah. So I only have six classes to take and then I'll have that degree. Wow. So then you'll have two degrees. And yes. my, that's awesome. That's really amazing. Yeah. Good job, Mindy. I'm so proud of you. So cool. I'm excited for you. Thank when you. you text me about it, I was like, yes. I was like, so good. Like, I was just like, I love your motivation and your, just like your strong willed and just like not settling for, you know, I just feel right. like that's important. Like, yeah. And I wanted, wanted to know if you want to share anything encouraging for moms or non-moms or dads or people who feel like they're too old for things like even in their 50s like just never too never too old never too old that's how i feel and never, never too, too late old. that's cool no that's awesome yeah, yeah. what i'll be what 34 this, this summer so yeah and then i probably won't finish until i'm 37 so then i probably won't get a job until i'm about 37 38 so no you're never too old mm-hmm yeah, I agree. I think it's cool because I think a lot of us think of like the culture mindset. Oh, you are twenties, you learn, and then in your thirties, you do it, and then you're stuck in that thing that you. But it's like no, like who told us that? I don't even know how we. I just question. That's a, and all right, and that's a, that's the, that's the choice I made. I when I had kids, I wanted to stay home, so mm-hmm. um, I wasn't sure if I was going to stay home or if I was going to go back to work. But um, for me, I definitely miss it. I miss working and I, I want to go back. So, yeah. Hey, Kay. Kayla, I think that is Kayla. Yeah. <laughs> I could be wrong. Oh. Um, yeah, that's cool. I, I love that so much because even for me, like I wanted to do music. I got an English literature degree and that was you know, just kind of a broad thing for me. I'm like, oh, I can write. I love writing. It's easy for me. It's a, I could get through college and have a degree because we were taught, like, just get a degree, you know? And so, but even after that, like I chose, you know, acting and filmmaking um, way farther along than a lot of the people in Hollywood choose, like, because it takes 10 to 20 years to break in, even if you're not like an A-list actor or like, if you want to get jobs, it's like a really big step, but I think for me, and I want to know if you relate, it was just kind of like, this is my life. And if I'm enjoying this, why wouldn't I work those 10, 20 years towards it? Like, I'd rather do that than not be happy and where I'm at, you know? So that's cool. That's so cool, Mindy. So speaking of not being happy where you're at, we were going to, you wanted to share something about um, a breakthrough and like your, and weight loss. Oh, yeah. Yeah. weight loss story like crazy yes yeah so back in September um I was at my heaviest um in my life um 214 pounds actually and I was doing a video with Miley she was um gonna cheer with the IU cheerleaders and she was doing some routine so I was practicing with her and I saw myself in the video and I'm like ah no, <laughs> that is bad. And it, I mean, it's not bad. I mean, it's not bad, you know. Yeah. But for yeah, myself, yeah. I, I didn't feel comfortable. Um, yeah. And I was having, I have back issues. So it was making my back issues worse. And um, so 
I took a leap of faith. I started September 28th. I basically ended my diet in February. I have maintained my weight since then, and I lost 65 pounds. And it's through keto, correct? Yeah, I did keto. I did the keto diet. I've tried many diets in my life, but I've never, ever had quite um, the success with keto as I do with keto. Yeah. So, yeah, it's amazing. And because keto basically puts your body in ketosis so that instead of your body complete fat burning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So instead of using like a carbohydrate, you know, to burn energy, it uses fat. So when you train your body, then like you, you restrict your diet and then it starts to eat away the fat on your body, correct? Including Mm -hmm. the fat you intake. Yeah. I also did intermediate fasting too. Okay. So I would go 18 hours without eating. And then I would have a window of um, eight to six to eight hours where I would eat. Sometimes I would do a 24-hour fast. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Closer to the end when it was harder to lose weight. Yeah. So I would yourself a little more. Yep. And I know a lot of people will be like, oh, my gosh, you didn't eat. That's awful. But I Uh, No, but when I fasted for 24 hours, I, I... I ate my max. Like I ate what I was supposed to eat. I did not go below it. I ate 1600 calories, what you would eat in a full day. I would totally max that out. Mm -hmm. That's great. And even doing the 18 hours of intermediate fasting, because then, Uh, hi, is that Scarlett? mm -hmm. Does she want to pop in real fast? You can say hi to Auntie. You want to show your face? Hi, Scarlett. Hi, sweetie. You look so cute. Okay, we'll go find Daddy. Well, I'll call again later, Scarlett, when you can <laughs> oh. Mommy and Mommy room. <laughs> Mommy's oh. in Mommy's room. Oh, yeah. oh okay. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> that's so cute. But um, the intermediate fasting, that's when you drink water only, right? You just kind of let your body. Is that correct? Is that what that yeah. means? Yeah. yeah, but I cheated. I had coffee okay. with um, my Johnny Skinny um, caramel flavor yes. and a little bit of heavy whipping cream. So I did cheat the fast a little bit. Yeah. Okay, girls. Shut the door. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, but yeah. Sweet. Yeah. So I like for me, sometimes I so I have IBS, you know, <laughs> is funny but I have to sometimes intermediate fast you know because um like my intestines get sore like if I eat too much and I do like so I'll wait till lunch to eat you know I mean you're sleeping part of that time probably yep. right you probably do night until the next I would day. yeah I would um start about six o'clock at night and then I wouldn't eat till noon the next yeah. day <laughs> so I think that's good for your body it gives your body like a break too because I think yeah. I- in our culture, we're like, eat, 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 sex, sex, yes. sex, but your body needs breaks. <laughs> I even, even though I'm not really dieting now, um, I still will do the fasting where I go yeah. like 18 hours. Yeah, that's cool. So do you have a picture, a before and after picture you want to show? Well, I don't know how to put it on here. Here, let me see if I can do it, but I'll, if you are fine with it, I was thinking of posting it later after. I don't care if you do that. It is crazy photo. Let me see if it'll glare or not. <clears throat> so let's see. Turn it up bright. Oh, yeah, you can see. So there, that's a before and after. Yep. It's kind of blurry. I don't know. That's a cute no, shirt. That's it. Yeah, so there you go. It's crazy. But um, that's so fun. I'm trying to think of... So... With that, um, is there anything else that you want to share with everyone, like encouraging or any anything, literally anything? Um, I don't really have much to share, but I mean, um, if anyone ever does have, I mean, anything, have any questions, um, struggle any day mentally during this quarantine, you can always Facebook me. Or message yeah. me through Instagram too. So that's awesome. 
And your Facebook, is it, what is your name on Facebook? Because it's a little different, right? You, yeah, it's it, uh, Mindy McShay Kissel. Okay. And I'll post that so that everyone knows. Um, but that's great. Yeah. And if they have questions about keto, they can ask. Is that If anyone keto? has any questions now, they can ask too. So yeah, yeah. Let's just, does anyone want to ask any questions? And I love, Nicole, what you said. She said, this is so inspiring. Thank you for sharing that it's never too late to learn and change. It's awesome. It's so true, which the first Coffee with Colleen, which was not recorded, so it's lost into the internet waves. Oh. <laughs> I, like, mentioned the C.S. Lewis. Oh, no, actually, it was with Nicole. Never mind. It's not lost. But C.S. Lewis has a quote about um, it never being too late. It's never too late to start. Let me look since we, while we wait for people to ask questions. There it is. It says, you are never too old to set another goal and to dream a new dream. So I love that quote. True. Yes, the quote. Yeah. I like C.S. Lewis. Are you guys doing anything this evening? Uh, we are probably going to sit out by the fire. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's another thing that you've done during quarantine. That we oh, done. yeah. So while we, <laughs> you know, are at home stuck with each other, we've built a project. We decided to do a, a paver um, patio in the back. So it's pretty, it's nice now. It it was hard. <laughs> did you guys do it yourselves then? Probably we did. Not. Yeah, we did do it ourselves. Um, Joe did most of the work. I did help him. He got his brother and his dad that came over and helped him a couple times too. But mm -hmm, yeah. That's crazy. And you have a hot tub. Yep. Just got a hot tub with it. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> I love hot tubs. It is. Yep. Probably get in that tonight too. Oh, yeah. That sounds awesome. That's cool. Well, is there anyone who wants to ask a question? I wish more than two people could just pop in too. That would be fun. I don't know if they do that here. Well, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I don't want to say goodbye yet. There's a lot. I, I will tell you, I'm listening to them talk out there, and it is lagged. So it is a few. Oh, no, not much of a lag. Never mind. I was just going okay, to say gonna two say. people. <laughs> it's okay. not too much of a lag. Because I was like, I don't hear anything. That's fine. Are you talking no. about the girls? Yeah, I can hear them listening to our interview in the other room. Oh, <laughs> I see yeah. what you're saying. Yeah. A little, it takes a little bit. Okay, I see what you're saying. I'm like, what are you I got gotcha. you. Yeah, I've noticed the comments come a little bit later after I've asked too. So, and it takes time to type and stuff. I'm sure, but that's cool. Do you want to show your patio or anything? Show the girls or anything before you? Um, get sure, I, I can do that. Yeah, thanks. Honestly, show it off. <laughs> so, I have to brag. Like, I love Mindy's house. It's really beautiful, and to have a home like this in Los Angeles would cost way too much, sadly. <laughs> Benefits of living in India. The beautiful. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. So, there's our so pretty. And then there's our little hot tub. That's cool. Yep. So. Oh, I hear oh, yeah. There's a little playground back there we did for them. That's Joe, so cool. Do you see that swing set? Joe built that uh -huh. with the pool and stuff. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I, Mom sent me pictures of that. That's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. So, yeah. Well, thank you so much, Mindy, for being part of this. And again, if anyone has like questions for Mindy that you didn't get a chance to ask, um, just message her on Facebook, message her on Instagram, and she'll love to answer those. And yeah, thank you, Mindy, for being on Coffee with Colleen. This has been really fun. Thanks for having me. Yeah, I really appreciate it. It's awesome to like talk about this stuff with you and just kind of catch up and everything. So, all right. Well, I guess I'll say goodbye for now. <laughs> all right. You can but call me if you want to. <laughs> I will call. I know, right? I'm like, let's just chat. And people will probably all right. be like, what are they doing? All right. I love you. <laughs> love you too. Bye. So thank you guys for watching. I love that we had a few people popping in throughout and then some of you who just stayed along. So, oh, miss you too, Marcella. Miss you so much. Um, thank you for watching the whole time, Ma. Like, it just means a lot when people stick around. So, um, yeah, and 
again, if you have any questions for Mindy, you know, message her. And then also for me, like if you have any questions that you want me to ask, hey, Jen, if you have any questions that you want me to ask or any people that you'd like to hear from, um, just send me a message because this time is supposed to be encouraging for you. And I just want it to be a time, something that you can watch that's encouraging, fun and light. And if anyone else, hey, Jen. Yeah. So if anyone else wants to pop on and say hello, if you want to pop on, Jen, I think you're the only one watching right now, Jen. So if you want to pop on and say hi, feel free. Um, but yeah, appreciate your time. And again, if you have questions that you want to ask even me, um, just send me a little message and be sure to come on when I'm doing it live because I'll interview someone, but I'll give some time afterwards if anyone else wants to share anything and wants to be a part of the Coffee with Colleen. So, all right. Let's see. Oh, it's Holly. I'm realizing Ranger Red is Holly. Hey, Holly. Oh, so good that you're on. I didn't, I couldn't see the picture very well. When I was, so hi, Holly. I'm so glad that you popped on. Makes me so happy. Mindy Kissel, FaceTime video. My sister's calling me. Let me. So anyways, it's good to see you. Be sure to pop on later. If you didn't get to watch the whole show, I'll have the link on Instagram soon and I'll put it on YouTube. All right.